Let's bring in News Nation's Joe Khalil, who continues our team coverage from the other side of Pennsylvania Avenue, Joe. And you are hearing more from lawmakers as they are now returning to Capitol Hill after the holiday break. Yeah, and this week, Nicole, is crucial for President Biden here on Capitol Hill. Uh, fair to say that this is going to be the week when the rubber meets the road. We've already heard from a number of lawmakers privately who say they think it's time for President Biden to step aside and let someone else take his spot at the top of the ticket to have the best chance against former President Trump. Some have called for that publicly already. Now, that's a small group relatively as of today, as of right now. But we expect, and our Democratic sources, including elected members who I've been speaking with, have said that there are plans for a number of others to become public today, making those same calls. So the question is going to be just how many, how big is that number of congressional Democrats in the House and Senate who will publicly ask President Biden to step aside, and also whether or not that number is big enough to actually affect President Biden's decision those things we are going to find out. Take a look so far at those who have already publicly said that President Biden should step aside. These are just House members. We're talking about five, and they, again, started all last week. And through the weekend, you see them here on your screen. And then there are a couple of others now who privately, on a call with Democratic leaders, these four here, said they also feel that way, but they've not said so publicly just yet. These four are particularly important because they are all the top-ranking Democrats on very important committees. These are senior Democrats who have a lot of sway with members. And again, we are told there are some in that category who today and tomorrow are going to be making the same calls. Now, here in the Senate, where I'm standing right now, Senator Mark Warner, a Democrat from Virginia who is a moderate, who's been a Biden ally for some time, he was actually planning an informal meeting to have a chat with some other Senate Democratic colleagues to figure out amongst themselves whether they should be calling for someone to replace President Biden at the top of the ticket. That meeting, we are told and have confirmed, was canceled because news of it leaked, which made Senator Warner unhappy. So they're not doing a meeting today, but Senate Democrats will be meeting all together tomorrow, as will House Democrats. And at those meetings, we expect a lot of this is going to be hashed out. Needless to say, this is crunch time. And we're going to see, again, how big that chorus is of elected Democrats who call on President Biden to step down, as we've been reporting all week. And it is, again, true today. The concerns over his age and whether he is fit enough to continue to make the case against former President Trump those concerns are very real, Nicole. Yeah, and there's really a mixed bag on reactions. We know there's, we're hearing public unease, a bit of dissent, we're hearing silence. But there are also plenty of prominent Democratic lawmakers who are standing firm in their commitment to President Biden. Yeah, there are. And the ones who've come out and opposed President Biden, that, those are going to catch the headlines for sure. There are some influential Democrats and groups of Democrats who say they're going to stand by him. One, just today, the chairman of the Congressional Black Caucus, Congressman Stephen Horsford, put out a statement today uh, saying that he's going to be behind President Biden 100 percent, saying here, quote, I'm going to read part of his statement. President Biden is the nominee. He's been selected by millions of voters across the country, including those here in Nevada, Horsford's home state. He goes on to say they know President Biden and Vice President Harris are fighting for them. The Congressional Black Caucus is a very influential bloc here in, uh, in the House side of the Democratic Party. So that certainly is a big endorsement for President Biden. But again, as the day progresses, today and tomorrow, we're going to see how many others stay in that camp and how many come out publicly and say he needs to go. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.